Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design a chair in KitchenV5. Next you need to design the leg of the chair. Let me switch back to the shading mode. And make sure that you are in the product mode and if you are not, you need to double click on the chair study and make sure that in the product mode you get all these icons here and go for insert new part and click on the chair study and you get the part number option and insert leg L -E -G, and click on OK and click on the yes button and you get the part leg on this uh, under the chair study product and expand the leg and double click on the part body under the leg and once you're in the product mode in the part mode rotate this and select the sketch and select the YZ plane and then what you can do is create a rectangle which is at a height of uh, say 350 and a width of 25 and then you can start off uh, create some creating some curves by using the three point arc just use a shift key if you don't want to if you don't want the software to create any automatic constraints and then at this point you could just try to you know do what I'm doing here to the maximum and it's not really important that you need to follow this particular pattern you can follow any pattern you want as long as you can understand the concept of the design let's just get back to the chair study so that you can see how the design is over here so we have uh, three here and one here that's it okay and a stick in the middle thin kind of thin on the top and very thin on the bottom so just come back here so now let's make it a little thick zoom in here and now Okay, that's not supposed to happen here. Just pull this down. Let's just uh, turn this out. Alright. And now, again, create this portion here and at last just create another folding here and then create the last one it ends here so I haven't uh, spent much time designing this particular pattern so you could spend more time and do this to make better pattern here just trim or whatever is not required and make sure that you have a closed profile and to make sure that you have a cross profile just go for the sketch analysis and it's closed that's fine just come out of the sketch and then go for a shaft and then select this as the axis and click on OK and you have the shaft done over there that creates a kind of leg over there 
and let's see what could be done in the next part of our tutorial if you have any doubt on this please comment below the video and i'll be getting in touch with you thank you so much for watching and stay tuned